Hey, it's Anna from Combat Culture, and today we're bringing you along for a typical day in the life showing what it's like living and training out of Hua Hin's best known Muay Thai gym, Sit Ho. We'll also take you to a local fight car to see what fighting in Thailand is really like. Looking for my grab, they're gonna be taking me straight to Sit Ho. I'm gonna be meeting Albi there so we can get our afternoon training session in. Sorika. People come from all over the world to train with the Sichapo twins. Hello. Hi. How's your private? Fantastic. <laughs> Feeling good? I am. Ready for another round of pets? We have five more rounds of pets. <laughs> Kuref lives in Thailand, runs a gym here, and his brother Kuro runs his own gym out in Sweden. In Western gyms, it's more common for classes to be led by a single coach and revolve around partner work with a set technique or combo. Here, the sessions are instead loosely structured and involve pad work, sparring, and clinching every day. You usually lead your own warm-up, and today I'm starting with some jump roping, stretching, and shadow boxing. Oh, shit. <laughs> once you're warmed up, one of the trainers will call you over for pad work once they're free. There's three rounds total at a fairly high pace. While it's mostly flow style pad work, the trainers may occasionally stop to correct your form. You're also free to ask questions if you prefer more instruction. After most of us have finished our pad session, we gear up for an hour of sparring. Sparring is typically open mat style. You can ask anyone to be your partner, although occasionally a coach may pair you up with someone. The coaches themselves typically jump in as well, including Kruef, who is impressively able to spar five minute rounds back to back with no break.
One thing you definitely need if you come is a very large two liter bottle of water, preferably insulated with lots of ice. So we usually start with a couple rounds of pads with whoever's open, and then once you're done, you gear up for sparring, and it's kind of just open mat, whoever's ready. That's sort of the last half of the session. What is your experience sparring with this man behind us and doing pads? Oh man, it's terrible, but I want to do it every day. <laughs> That's basically how I want to sum it up. <laughs> This is actually uh, Albie's second round of pads today. He did it with the trainer earlier, and now he's back to do pads during regular class. Dry pet, question for you. What do you eat and get so strong? What do you do? What's your secret? Fight!
we are officially back at our hotel, done with training, just got some snacks from 7-Eleven, ordered grab for a quick dinner, and then we're gonna get ready, wash up, and go to the fights later, which we're gonna bring y'all along for that. Yeah. The one thing you need after training, Lots of sugar. I've been waiting for this for the last few hours. Well, it's good. Also, what no one tells you when you come to train here is that a lot of your time is going to be spent doing laundry. <laughs> so, we like to hang up our stuff right after we use it here just to kind of dry out the sweat a little bit before we actually do laundry for the week. Yeah, because if not, it's just going to sit and be gross. Yeah. At least we got this very nice view to do laundry to. I want to be able to use this as much as I can without having to throw it in the wash. So a little bit of hand washing goes a long way. Also, can't forget to wipe down your gear and dry it out. Otherwise, especially in this high heat and humidity, it will wear down very, very quickly. Yep. Gotta spray it good. So wipe it down so you don't damage material. Also gotta be careful not to leave it in the sun for too long. Take care of your gear, I'll take care of you. Okay, our dinner is finally here. Katsu curry. We did not get Thai food. Don't hate us. We've been here for like five weeks, so sometimes you want something different. And one thing about Thailand is they package everything in bags, even soup. So very interesting. So that little thing of pickles. This was all about 200 baht, which is a little more expensive than just typical street Thai food, but still good price, especially if you compare to like New York. We're rooting for this guy right here. We had two people fighting out of Sitra Po on this night, and many of the students showed up to watch and support. Okay, so who are our guys? Oh, Ryan, Sitra Po. The fighters in their corners are given different sections around the gym to prep, although you're still very much out in the open. Okay, so uh, for the camera, how are you feeling? About to fight, how do you think I feel? <laughs> <laughs> how are you feeling? Pretty great, yeah. Yeah, you look good. You don't even look uh, nervous at all. You don't look nervous at all. Oh, wow, okay. Uh, I mean, you only get nervous when you get to the ring, not before. Wow. Oh, I'm impressed. Huh. <laughs> good right hands ah, okay. and uh, I don't think I've ever hit anybody that hard in my life. 
<laughs> How does it feel? Uh, awesome, I feel awesome. I'm <laughs> hot, but I feel good. Hi. Did you like the fights? Did you have fun? Did you win? Did you bet on the winners? Oh, I thought so. Oh, 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 no. All right, it's almost midnight. We're both very tired. Long day of training. Long day of watching some fights, supporting our friends. Uh, so we're gonna sign off now, but we hope you enjoyed coming along with us to Sichapo and Huahin today and be on the lookout for our next video. Yeah, my fight's coming up at uh, Rajanamur and Lumpini on March 33rd, 2020 never. So we'll see you then. Be on the lookout for that in our next now. video. Pay-per-view only.